everybody, welcome back to Keeping It Real in the Kitchen. I'm Candace Cole. Thanks so much for joining me. We are gonna make lamb. Lamb inside our roaster. This lamb is all the way from Australia. Born, raised, and harvested in Australia. And then it came right here to America so I could put it inside this roaster and show you how to cook it. So I have this roaster on the highest setting that it can go. Do yours the same way. I've let it preheat for about 10 minutes. Now while yours is preheating, you can prepare your lamb. What we're gonna do to prepare our lamb is first, take it out of the package. It's always a good place to start. My lamb leg does have the bone inside of it. This recipe works for one with bone in or bone out, it doesn't matter. This one is about four pounds. So all you need for this recipe is obviously, well, lamb. You're also gonna need some rosemary. Now if you have fresh rosemary, please feel free to use that. You're gonna need some olive oil. We're gonna need six cloves of garlic. We're gonna use some pepper. If you have fresh cracked black pepper, use that. And we're gonna use some salt. That's it, that's all you need. We're gonna take some olive oil and we're gonna rub this little lamb down. We want to rub the olive oil into it. You do not need to marinate lamb because it's a very moist meat. Olive oil both sides. There we go. Everywhere you can get that olive oil. Next, if you have fresh cracked pepper, you're awesome. You could use that. If not, you could just use regular pepper. That's what I'm using. And again, we want to rub it in. Flip it over. More pepper. Next, we're going to add some salt. Same thing. Rub it in. Give that lamb a salt massage now. Hopefully, even though I didn't say it, you're not cooking with your metal wire rack in. Always take your metal wire rack out. We're going to get our lamb on this. And we're gonna get the lamb in at this really high rate of heat, oh, I'm gonna set off my smoke alarm, for five minutes. Oh no, my smoke alarm's going off. Okay, five minutes. We're gonna do five minutes on each side. After it's cooked five minutes at that searing hot temperature, I'm flipping it over. Now, while this is cooking for those five minutes on each side, we're gonna take those cloves of garlic and we're gonna slice them thinly. We're just making thin slices out of them, just like this. Oh, that's heavy. Flipping you, flipping you. See, I'm flipping it. Flip. Oh. It has been the other five minutes. I'm gonna take the lamb out. Got those metal things up in the air. That's good. Oh, I know this is gonna be hot. It's always so hard to grab. Why? Oh, burning. Okay. We're gonna change the temperature on our roaster oven now to 325 degrees. This is very important. Don't forget to do that. Now we are gonna rosemary each side. I don't know if you can rosemary as a, ow, that is hot. Oh crap, ha, ah, I don't know why I wanted to see if that was hot or not. Man, so we're gonna rosemary each side of our lamb. I'm being generous with it. Flip this lamb, lamb, lamb over. Lamb this side, or lamb, rosemary on this side. You're a lamb all around, not on just this particular side. So I'm gonna try to get garlic wherever I can now. I found a few cracks. That's just who I am, that's how I like to do it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a couple slits on my lamb, and I'm gonna get some garlic shoved right down inside. Just like that, and shove it inside. Now I'm gonna flip this lamb over. I'm just gonna place my garlic all over. We're gonna wanna use a meat thermometer and we're gonna get that right inside. We really don't want it on the bone. We want it in a thick part, that's what I like to do. Now we're gonna put this inside of our roaster. Here we go. Remember our roaster's been brought down, uh-oh, steam, to 325 degrees. We got that in there. If you do not have a meat thermometer like that, you can just use a regular one. Now, as a rule of thumb, your lamb needs to cook for about 20 to 25 minutes per pound. We wanna get our lamb to cook to an internal temperature of 145 degrees. Now, here's the tricky part. Really, we're only gonna cook it until it's about 140 degrees because we're gonna let our lamb rest for 15 minutes. And during those 15 minutes, it should increase those five degrees. Okay, I should probably get it now. My lamb cooked for a little over an hour until it got to that temperature of 140 degrees. Now, I'm not gonna do anything to it. I'm turning off my roaster, boom. I'm actually gonna unplug it because that's still on like a minimum heat. So I'm unplugging it completely and I'm going to let my lamb rest for 15 minutes before I touch it, open the lid or anything, 15 minutes. Rest the lamb, 
rest, little lamb. Ba ba black sheep, have you any wool? Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. You know, funny story, actually. I was just getting my car fixed and I walked into the place where um, you sit and wait while they give you your oil change and uh, there was a lamb in there. Not kidding, I'll show you a picture. There it is. That lamb was there. Right there. Baba, black sheep, and white sheep. It was kind of combined. I was like, is that a goat? And she's like, no, it's a lamb. Oh, I feel bad now. Sorry. Hope you're delicious. It's not you in there. Lamb chops, sing along. Do, 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 mm, mm, mm. The lamb has rested. It is done. I'm excited to see it. I have not opened this up without you, so. Mm. Here we go. I need thingies to hold it with her. I'm gonna burn myself. The big reveal. The lamb is all done. Check that out. Mmm. Smells so good. Looks like a lamb. I am bringing in my official lamb taster because, to be honest with you guys, I don't eat a lot of lamb, so if I say it tastes good, it might not be true. So official lamb taster, would you please join me? I am the official lamb taster. You are. You are the official lamb taster. Are you ready? Of course I am. Bella, how much yeah. lamb have you eaten in your life? A lot. A lot. This kid loves lamb. It's so weird. My grandma, her great grandma, used to make it for her all the time. When we go to restaurants that have it, yeah, this kid wants lamb. I'm usually like, no. So this is special for her. I don't know if you can see in there. Look at that. How nicely it's cooked. There you go. Are you ready? really good cooked. It's like kind of moist almost, but at the same time it's flavor. It's really flavorful. It's really, you like the flavor? Uh-huh. You do? It's good. Uh, and you said it's moist? It's tender. And it's tender. You happy? <laughs> well, you heard it from Bella. She's the official taste tester of the lamb. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any other videos. Hit that bell if you want notifications. Leave some comments and, uh, you know, we'll see you next time on Keeping It Real in the Kitchen. Bye. Bye.